Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. We are from group 5 of PEC 221, 8D1 and 8D2. We, today, we are going to present the introduction of pre-stress and precast concrete structure. Assalamualaikum, I am Muhammad Faris bin Muhammad no. Today, I want to present about the concept and principle of pre-stressing that are being adapted in pre-stress concrete. So, before we go to the concept of pre-stress, we must know what is pre-stressing. Pre-stressing is the process by which a concrete element is compressed, generally, generally by steel wires or strand. Precast element may be pre-stressed during the construction process, which is pre-stensioning, and structure may be stressed once complete, which is post-stensioning. Okay, next we go to the concept and principle of pre-stressing. Pre-stressing is the, comp the application of an initial load on the concrete structure so that the structure is able to counteract or withstand the stress coming due to the service load. The concept can be clearly understood by the example of barrel. A barrel used in olden period to transport liquid and grains are tightly bound by metal band. This metal band are fit so tightly that it creates a hook compression around the barrel. When this barrel is filled with liquid, it exerts hook tension. The hook compression that is created by the metal band helps to counteract the hook tension created by the fluid with it. This is a pre-stressing system. Similarly, effective internal stress are induced into the concrete by means of tension still bar before the concrete structure is subject to any service load. This stress counteract with the external stress. So, so pre-stress concrete can be used for the construction of roof, floor and wall, and also bridge with longer, longer unsupported span. Continue to the concept and principle of pre-stressing. In conventional reinforced concrete, the height tensile strength of steel is combined with concrete grit compressive strength to form a structure material that is strong in both compression and tension. The principle behind pre-stressed concrete is that compressive stress induced by high strength steel tendons in a concrete number before load and are applied will balance the tensile stress imposed in the member during service. Pre-stressing removes a number of design limitations conventional concrete place on span and load and permit the building of roof, floor, bridge and wall with longer unsupported span. This allows architect and engineer to design and build lighter and shallower concrete structure without sacrificing strength. The principle behind pre-stressing is applied where, when a row of book is moved from place to place. Instead of taking the boat vertically and carrying them, the book may be moved in horizontal position by applying pressure to the books at the end of the row. When sufficient pressure is applied, compressive stress are induced throughout the entire row, and the whole row can be lifted and carried horizontally at once. This video will show you more detail on concept of pre-stress concrete. In case of big concrete construction projects like bridges, steel reinforcement bars alone won't be sufficient to provide the necessary tensile strength. In this case, pre-stressed concrete is being used. In pre-stressing, the rods or tendons are stretched along the axis and cement is poured. Later when the tendons are released the compression is generated at the bottom, which tries to counterbalance the compression due to loading at the top part of the beam. The principle behind pre-stressed concrete is that compressive stresses induced by the high strength steel tendons in a concrete member before loads are applied. This will balance the stresses imposed in the member during the service. I am Nur Atika Amira binti Muhammad Yunus. I am going to present the procedures of pre-stress construction work. Post-tension concrete. For pre-tension, 
tendons are tension before pouring the concrete. The tendons are initially tension and anchor at both ends and then the concrete is poured over it and cured. When concrete attains desired strength, the tendons are released and projections are cut out. For post tension, the tendons are tensioned after the concrete is poured. Initially, the concrete is cast around the sheeting. The darts are formed in the concrete which tendons are placed. After the concrete is hardened, the tendons are tensioned by using hydraulic jacks and an anchor. I'm Ahmad Faiz Rahimi bin Zena Abide. Next, why precast concrete is preferred compared to conventional in situ construction method? Okay, what is a precast concrete? Precast concrete is a product that produced by casting concrete at factory that can customize the size, shape and grade concrete. Other name for precast concrete is called Industry Building System IBS. Okay, what is a conventional in situ method? Conventional in situ is a concrete that pour into formwork at the building site. Factor that we can compare between two methods such as quality control, cost, time and safety. Precast concrete first Quality control. As we know, precast concrete as high quality control product from the factory. All concrete must pass testing before use. Second, cost. Precast concrete can reduce worker and minimize cost of tampering waste material. Third, time. Precast concrete already mixed. It faster completion due to preparation and simply installation process for safety because concrete concrete promote safety and systematic working environment as minimal worker and waste material net for in situ concrete concrete is subject to outside variable and changing condition all testing must be performed on site second need more worker and area for construction for worker as we know, they have different scope of job, such as barbender, carpenter. Next, for in situ concrete, it takes time for preparing material for inspection and curing the concrete. For the safety, it risks to hazard when mixing concrete, thus can cause brief problem. Sourced by International Research Journal of Engineering and Technology IRJ. According to C et al. 2019, study on cooperation of precast and cast in situ construction of structure based on social category. First, precast concrete can help the construction industry to reduce the waste generated on site by up to 50% compared to traditional managed construction. Second, precast concrete has gained an impressive market share such as in terms of annual turnover equal to the sum of the cement and ready mix market. Third, by using precast concrete is related to environmental effect. It also can improve the quality control, reduction of construction time, construction waste, dust and noise on site and less labor requirement on site that's all my name is Muhammad Muaz bin Abdul Fatah precast designs for conventional in situ construction has resulted in savings of as much as 55% of the concrete quantities and 40% of the reinforcing steel requirements in the case of typical floor slabs, the combination of precast, pretension slab soffits, 
and a composite in-situ topping can result in savings over conventional in-situ construction of about 28% in concrete quantities and about 45% in steel requirements. In the case of conventional in-situ beams, savings of 60% in concrete quantities and 65% in steel requirements can be realized by the use of precast pre-stressed concrete technology. This reduction in the use of materials such as cement, stone, sand, steel, timber, formwork and other ingredients results not only in a significant reduction in energy employed in the mining, manufacturing and processing of these materials but also a reduction in the air pollution accompanying the use of this energy. For instance, in the manufacture of one ton of cement, approximately one ton of carbon dioxide is emitted into the atmosphere. In addition, savings in construction materials will result not only in savings of our natural resources from which these materials are derived, but also savings in the energy resources such as fossil fuels, nuclear and hydroelectric facilities. All used in the mining, manufacture, transportation and installation of construction materials. The need for timber, largely consumable in the conventional institute construction process for temporary bracing, shuttering, forming, danish and other devices, will be reduced substantially and thus contribute to the preservation of our forests, wildlife and reduction of global warming. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Ammar Bakhtiar bin Mahusin and I am from PEC 2218D2. Now I will proceed from where Muas has ended. Because of the accuracy possible with precast concrete, there is much less waste of the actual concrete when using precast than with poor on-site concrete when the latter usually involves spillage and wasted remnants in the cement rock. With plan casting, the molding process has significantly less waste because the molds are made of steel with exact dimensions in all directions and these durable molds can be used again and again while poor on-site cement use wooden from work that is typically discarded after a single use. Precast use less scaffolding and can be erected more quickly, saving on both labor and transport costs plus the fewer materials and workers driven to a construction site, the less gasoline is burned. And that means yet another emission saver that might not be obvious at first. Precast can be installed with fewer weather delays and less on-site labor. Thus, faster and more efficient construction means less on-site equipment noise and emissions. Modern trends in building aim to reduce sound transfer and create a privacy zone and precast concrete more than most any other material prevents noise transfer into a building, avoiding the need for extra soundproofing insulation, thus fewer necessary materials means a smaller carbon footprint. A new process gaining popularity is a precast concrete panel that includes a pre-attached continuous layer of rigid foam insulation and this process results not only in reduced noise but also in the green premium of good thermal resistance improving energy efficiency.